Hey everyone, Sherman here. So today is the 8th of March. Uh, I wanted to check on uh, some of the forecasts that, uh, that we made last last week. Um, because there are good trades that we can look at um, this week on. So let's go look at the Euro dollar. So Euro dollar is uh, still in this channel. As you can see it's still within this channel over here um aggressive traders might have gone in but um that means your stop loss has to be pretty aggressive too actually right um outside is good but it has not started yet today is monday so this might be just moving down to take out uh in order for the uh big fish to to uh, source for liquidity before it moves up but we don't know when it's going to go up unless uh it, it actually starts right unless it actually starts and so and this is this is a weekly right so naturally you have to go to lower time frame to actually look for this move to the upside uh so you want to enter early then the stop has to be pretty large right because it has not actually started yet basically but still 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 looks upside by the end of this week i'll know whether whether it's true whether this is actually moving up right so i'll know by end of the week i'll know whether i'm wrong so hopefully i'm not wrong okay uh euro pound euro pound is um kind of tricky still but it's still it's still kind of intact actually you know uh this one looks like it could have gone but it's very natural for market to try to take 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 uh to look for liquidity by pushing now people thought it was gonna go up right so they come on to you know take out all the liquidity in the market before it actually goes uh but again today is monday so uh the actual move can start around wednesday you know um so let's see but uh, hopefully this still this is still intact until until this breaks okay so i still like the upside for this the trend line might have changed a little bit trend line would look something like this actually something like this so that which means if you draw the if we're gonna draw this yeah see so candles should need to consolidate outside the trend line All right Again, this is a conservative approach, which is usually better. I, I won't say usually, I say normally it's normally it's better because you don't have to leave to draw down. But again, if you if you had um if you had taken aggressive buys, your stop loss has to be pretty wide. You know, don't forget that, right? To account for all the movements all the possible movements in the market. That's, that's the thing. Um what's this? dollar index so dollar index pretty much still there uh, it went here went up went up here so again if you're not about picking tops then uh if you're not about picking tops don't don't buy this breakout yeah don't, don't just because just because this one looks like it came out doesn't doesn't mean that it's going to continue it could just it just means this and in, ultimately, this one still could just be a three wave like this, and then it starts to come down like this. Then you try to get in anywhere on these pullbacks. That's a conservative and the correct approach to to uh, to wait for to wait for the bears to show some kind of uh, big trees before we just hop in, right? Because uh, we don't have the billions of dollars to push this down. And someone needs to do that. Then we try to join in the right. Right? You try try to join in the right somewhere. You just try to, just try to get in somewhere as it pulls back, as it pulls back, as it pulls back, pulls back, pulls back. Okay, that's one way. Uh, during last week, everything was pretty pretty much okay. Um, I did this chart. Basically, this move actually played out well uh this was all counter trend but ultimately this was going to happen 
right? And once this happens, then of course you're looking for one, two, three, four, looking for possible crawl for this five. And generally, um, once I see that happen, right, uh, I'm very afraid of one big move down. It, 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 that's just how it usually is. Uh. Okay, so you just got to be careful that one big move down. That means once, uh, if this one continues to crawl up this week, that means next week, the week after, that means the, week, the, the next week, right? Next week, next week, this one should be looking for the sell already. Okay, so we're just going to see by Wednesday, we'll know what this is doing. Right, if it pulls back real slow like this one, then you can look for one more up. That means a week after, that means next week, you're looking for the down already. So the time factor, time factor swings are very important. The timing is just uh, so important, right? What is this? UJ is moving ahead on NFP. Okay, uh, what did I do? So it's continuing to move up. Okay, uh, UJ, yeah, okay, so. The week before, if you go through my charts, I talk about uh, about this, about the, at the point here where this one could either go up or whether it could go down. Because it's it's a bit ambiguous at, at that point in time. Um, I would have to say at that point in time, I was more biased towards the upside, actually. Um, also because of this slow crawl, and you could actually see all these little crawls, right? So at this point in time, it looks like a buy. But once it reaches this top here, um, there's no more buys here unless it pulls back right because if you just if you just buy into this and pulls back uh going to the count going into immediate drawdown and the, the other problem is um you never know if this if this top holds this could just collapse like that right and this can not just be one single wave this can be all the correction and then it just collapse straight down and the account will go bust basically if, if uh if you, if you just just bought like this and just put your stop loss somewhere here, you know that 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 would not work. Okay, so there's no trade on this until it pulls back, because let's say when it pulls back and we want to buy, but but what happens? What 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 if it pulls back here and suddenly it just Then of course when it does this this slowly you try to get in to the for for the sell to break this low. So at this point in time, at this point in time here, there is no there is no trade. I would not trade this. Until it pulls out, because this is a daily time frame, it it, it needs some kind of a nice nice uh, nice pullback like this before I I will even consider entering. You see this one, like um even like this one you see here. Just because it looks like a correction doesn't mean that you're gonna get that. It can just collapse. Okay, so make sure it it pulls back. Make sure it breaks out first, then you take. Otherwise, it pulls back. But guess what? If it doesn't break, if it doesn't break, it just uh, continues down okay. and of course um, because get it short so look out for this euro dollar look out for this euro pound I think there are good trades for this week look for some sort some sort of upside okay so euro, euro pound for some sort of upside uh, sorry but the arrow is so uh, okay you get the idea so look for that I think that is a good trade for this week and um also, we're going to look at our favorite Tesla. So we're supposed to look at this in two months time, but um, let's just have a quick look and see what this, what this guy is doing. Yeah, see, it, it kind of, it, it goes nowhere. So if you thought that uh, people tried to pick this low, this low, thinking that it's going to go up. I'm not sure what this week is. This is a strange week. Let's go. Low time frame. Let's go four hour and see what this guy is doing. Very strange. Four hour the week is not there. But in any case, if any if we thought that this was a low last week and just, just bounced in, it, it basically goes nowhere. So that's why uh this is in when, when investing, you, you're looking to hold this for at least two or three months. Oh no no, sorry. Uh nine nine months to a year. And the entry should be somewhere around on this side over here because once this goes up, it's going to pull back. See, see, goes up, it pulls back. So there's no point when it goes up here. There's no point in buying. They got to put that pullback first before you buy. Buy the low. Remember the low. This is not the low. This is the low. Okay. So let's take that together and make some money. Okay. No need to buy it now. There's no need to buy it now. I repeat. Because if you buy it now, uh, you never know if this one goes until. Well, what if it goes lower? this level over here 
then you'd be in drawdown. So there's no need to buy it now. Just let somebody else, let some institution push it up first. And then uh, when any any correction, we will try to pick the low then. So keep a, you should need to keep a lookout for this. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this is informative. But, uh, and uh, bye-bye.